Hey everybody, come on in. My camera wasn't loving me tonight, I don't know why. <laughs> come on in and say hello. I'm gonna share on my computer over here on the side. See if anybody's out there tonight. Alrighty, come on in. Give me a thumbs up if you're here. Hey, hello. Oh, I see somebody. Who's out there? Oh, Deneen. Hi, Deneen. Welcome. Come on in. Good to see you. All righty. Here we go. <laughs> All right. somebody else come on in guys come on in and say hello for created eight we're gonna play with some dinosaurs tonight which is gonna be really fun it's Millie hi Millie good to see you sweetie don't forget girls tomorrow night Tinkerbells and we're gonna be at the firehouse so come on over if you can bring a friend if you would like we're gonna have some cute make and takes just saying. Alrighty. Um, while we're waiting for people to get here, I just want to do a quick little um, reminder about <clears throat> an upcoming class that I'm really excited about. This one's going to be um, after I get back from my trip. Um, Oh, good, Millie. Good. I can't wait. So this is a class that's coming up on July 26th after I get back. Um, this is called For the Love of Felt, and it's actually a kit in the catalog, and I can't even tell you how gorgeous this is in person. I, um, I ordered it and had started putting it together, and it's just beautiful. So if you are interested in this one, um, this class includes the kit. And I will have everything else here for you. You're going to make 12 standard cards. And it comes with a stinking cute box that they all go in. And they have beautiful envelopes and these felt accents. And it's just really, really pretty. So if you're local and you'd like to come um, check this out, go to um, the event section here on my Facebook page. And you will see the info on it with the price the price like i said it includes the oh not that one <laughs> it includes your kit and i will have the stamp set here for you if you are long distance and would like to participate and get the for the love of felt kit um you can do that also um just uh, let me know just go to the event and send me a little note and let me know that you would like to do it if you um you'll need the stamp set also so we will hook you right up okay again this one's going to be on the 26th and we're going to do it twice one at one at one o'clock in the afternoon and one at seven in the evening so beautiful kit so come on over if you are interested all right guess what else i am so excited about stamp and storage is back in stock Woo -hoo! can't believe it if you haven't checked it out yet i have to pull it up here because i can't remember what page it's on if you have not checked out Stampin' Storage yet, you are going to want to check it out. It is amazing. It's on 160. 160. I have some here in the studio. We had some at my retreat back in the fall, but look at this. You can store your ink pad with the markers. You can store your Stampin' Blends. Um, there are these topper sections that can hold your, well, whatever you would like, actually this little tray and you can also put your reinkers in there if you'd like and then there's some open storage where you can put whatever you'd like in there and they are really really reasonable I really love these guys so these are back in stock so be sure to try them out um, they are on page 160 and 161 in the new annual catalog so check them out all right all right so let's get started tonight so tonight we're gonna play with dino days this is so stinking cute and I can't I didn't order this right away and now that I have it I'm kind of hooked like I was just playing and playing so I don't know Inkerbells uh I don't know we might be doing some of this tomorrow night just saying <laughs> this is too cute not to share so um oh there we go oh good Deneen 
Oh, it's really exciting to get it all organized, isn't it? All right, so Dino Days. Dino Days actually has a matching set of framelits that come with it. Like these right here, and they're really cool. I, I kind of had to figure a few of them out. Like I wasn't sure about these guys here and what this was, um, but I did figure it out. We're gonna actually use that one tonight. But there's um, these parts of the palm tree. There's this egg that you can do a really cute little card that look who hatched, look who's hatched for a baby card, which is really fun. Um, and then your dinosaurs and pterodactyl and the stem or the trunk for the tree. So let's get started. I'm going to show you these two cards. Now, dinosaurs are not only for boys. Dinosaurs are also for girls, but we're going to take a look at this card here first. So this one I would use for a boy. The designer series paper, let me show you what's in the pack. Really, really pretty. Let's pull these guys out. So this is the one we're gonna use, or this is the one I did use on the boy card tonight. You can see on the back, it has a really pretty pattern. There's some scraps of that one. And then we have this one that we're gonna use on the girl card that we're gonna to make tonight with the pink background, with lovely lipstick, sorry, lovely lipstick background with some beautiful um, foliage on the back side with some lovely lipstick um, accents. And this one is really cute, look at that. This really pretty background on there. Flip it over and it has the eggs that I love. Look at the little cracked eggs. Oh, so cute. This is actually a hard one for me to cut up because it is really cute. This one, assorted dinosaurs. These would make really, really pretty um, gift bags, Debbie Colby. I'm just saying. I think we might need to have a few of those. What do you think? <laughs> All right. Look at the little volcano here and these little guys. Now these are perfect to cut out. These are really, really cool to fussy cut and just put on your cards. There's some examples of that in the catalog. So check that out. And then, oh, look at the back of this. I forgot to show you. Isn't that cool? Man, that's cool. All right, more of that one. And then this one in the yellow with, look at that. Look at that combination. Isn't it gorgeous? I love it. I ordered, I think I ordered four packs of this because I fell in love with it. So, all right. So those are the designer series paper. I got these really cool envelopes. Well, they're kind of envelopey. <laughs> I got them on Amazon and I'm loving them because I have a 12 by 12 storage thing now and I can just put my, um, uh, scraps down in here and it's not as, as thick as a uh, freezer bag or a ziplock bag and it has this little thing at the top that I can fold in and keep it all stored in there but isn't that cool I was very happy about those got those on Amazon all right so oh hey Lorraine good to see you sweetie I haven't seen you in a while I saw your post about um, my Greece trip, and we are very, very, very excited. We have 10 days till we fly out, I think. I think it is. I don't know. It's getting close, anyway. All right, so this is the boy card, and you can see um, these two little guys here I stamped and cut out with the framelits, which I was very happy to have. And then I just stamped the tree in the background with the um, foliage above it on the background and then I stamped the sentiment and used a little piece of coordinating lovely lipstick there to kind of make it pop. So that's the front. When you open it up, this designer series paper shines and then you'll see, I'll pull a gift card out of the other one so I can show you. This actually will hold a gift card. And this one is actually my Disney Fast Pass from the last trip. <laughs> so you can see that it has a little gift card holder down here at the bottom where you can stick one and then um, just write a little note there and you're ready to go to a party, right? All right, so there's the boy card. I'll take this back out and I'll show you, this is the girl card that we're gonna make tonight. Cause like I said, there are girls who like dinosaurs too. So look how cute this little guy is with his little pudgy arms. Oops, got a little, little fuzz on it. So you're awesome. And we just have some popped up foliage at the top with some of our gold faceted gems there. And when you open it up, 
it says, I love you this much. It's more than it looks. Happy birthday. And then this one, the gift card fits down at the bottom. Isn't that fun? I love it. So we're going to get busy. We're going to make this girl one. And I will post both of these after tonight's post. Oh, for the last week's post, I had some trouble posting that, um, the measurements for that one. So if you are still looking for those, I'm going to try again tonight when I post this particular project. So keep an eye out for those. All right, so for this one to get started, you're going to need a card base that measures. Um, oh, sorry, my computer was blinking. I don't know what that was. The, uh, card base card base that measures four and a quarter by five and a half and then you're going to need a piece of designer series paper now this one doesn't really have a direction to it so it doesn't matter which which way I cut it but pay attention to that when you go to to cut your designer series paper my paper measures four inches by 12 inches so we're going to bring in our scoring board Oop. Oh, there it is. I laid it on the floor because the dogs were up here and I was trying to make a barrier. <laughs> do you ever do that? <laughs> All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our scoreboard and we're going to gently score this because it's designer series paper. We're going to score this, <clears throat> excuse me, at five and a half. Oh, that's not right. At five and a quarter and ten and a half okay because that's going to get covered up and that's the only two you need five and a quarter and ten and a half all right all right since the puppies have gone <coughs> all right so then i'm just going to take my designer series paper and my bone folder i'm going to score that up and then i'm going to Hold on this score line, score that down like so. All right, then this one is going to get adhered to my card base with some snail or adhesive of your choice. Oops, there we go, just like that. All right, and then I'm going to open it up. And I'm going to take this little flap and I'm going to use my one inch circle punch and I'm going to come in here and do a little notch for my gift card right about there like so now I'm going to bring in some glue dots and I didn't glue the pocket down because I wanted to give myself some wiggle room when I put that in there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a glue dot right flush with that little corner and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side over here. Okie doke, like that. And we'll give it a little push like so. And then it really helped to do this part first so I had the gift card in here so I can have the placement for this piece up here. Okay, so I'm just going to leave that little guy in there while we decorate the rest of our card. All right, so for the outside of your card, you're going to need a piece of pretty peacock, which is a new in color, which is really, really pretty. A piece of pretty peacock that measures three and a half by three and a half. And a, this doesn't yet, we have to cut it. And then a piece of Whisper White that measures three and a quarter by three and a quarter. And you're actually gonna need two of these. So let's cut these right now. Let's. There we go, so these guys are gonna be three and a quarter by three and a quarter. this pretty peacock color it wasn't when I first thought I thought oh what am I gonna do with that but see what happens you end up with projects where it's absolutely perfect all right 
So I'm gonna take my piece of Pretty Peacock and I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm going to adhere it to the front of my card here, like so. There we go. Now I'm gonna take my um, three and a quarter by three and a quarter piece and I've gone ahead and I, let me bring these guys in. I stamped and cut out some of the parts and pieces. Now, this particular one is stamped in lovely lipstick and as you can see, I used the framelit. So let me show you something really cool about this. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna show you because I wanted to show you how to use the Big Shot with this framelit because this is important. So head up. So these are the scales for the back and this little dude here. But what's really cool is the way they did the, the framelit for it. So let me show you. Bring in the big shot, which I hardly ever do <laughs> on live. All right, let's bring it in. Now, let's see if you can see this. Can you see it? All right, when I go to cut this little guy out, this lines up with get it on here and then I'll move my hand with all of the points on the little scales here see that long white edge that's supposed to be there so you're going to move up flush with the little little points of those triangles when you cut okay let me run it through like so come here move that out that frame went back because you know me. I'll end up digging through the trash looking for it. I don't know how many of you do it, but I do. All right, so now that we have this little um, line of scales here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some glue dots. This is a new roll, so it's still a little, a little tight. There we go. I'm going to take some glue dots and I'm going to go along that back edge. on the back edge like so see where they are coming out there on the edge and that's going to be just enough to catch those scales when we go to put it on there so I'm just going to bring it in I think you guys can see I hope you can I'm going to bring it in and I'm going to line it up it matches perfectly how cool is that do you like that you guys are awful quiet tonight. <laughs> All right, so I cut my um, tree trunk and I cut these little pieces for the top of the tree. And I actually did them first before I cut, which was absolutely fine because of this type of stamp. Let's see. Yeah, like that. Okay, so I'm going to lay these guys out. I cut five of them because you know how I feel about odd numbers. Now I'm going to bring in, this is Old Olive, and I'm going to bring in the, um, yep, I can't think of what it is, but you know, the detail for that piece, that's the word I was looking for. The detail for these um, top, tops of the tree. And I'm just going to take Pretty Peacock and ink it up. And because it's a clear stamp, I can just go over it and see exactly where I need to stamp. See that? Isn't that cool? I love clear stamps. Well, this is photopolymer actually, but I see through it. So it's still clear. Oops. There we go. I don't know, I always feel so smart when I'm able to stamp after I, or yeah, after I do it. <laughs> it's a little things. There we go. Okay, so let's put this. It is a palm tree. You are totally right, Millie. Totally. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and bring in my piece of Whisper White with ink on my finger. I like that. I think I cut extras for those, huh? 
All right, baby wipe to the rescue. Wipe off my hands. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm going to adhere. Oh, you can see where I was doing a lot of palm trees before. I'm gonna adhere my palm tree trunk over here, kind of towards the bottom, like so. Then I'm gonna bring in the first palm up here, and I'm going to just do it straight up, and I'm going to glue it right down to the base here, okay? Next, I'm gonna bring in one that's gonna go down here, and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna glue it straight down, like that. And then I will do the other three, I was looking for dimensionals. Oh, here they are. I want to pop up just to give some dimension. That's the word dimensional, right? <laughs> just remember, a penny a piece. You can use lots of them. So let's pop these little guys up. Just like so. All right. Oh, you know what I want to do before I do that? Just because, just because you know that if it can be smudged, I will smudge it. So let's do this first. Let me do my sentiment over here. I should have done this first when I pulled this piece over, but huh. Never one for convention. Here we go. Ta-da! Here we go. All right. Oh, my finger slipped into it that time, huh? There we go. All right, so now I will take these little guys and I'm going to bring one over here. One over here. And then one down here. Like so. Oop, like so. Then I'm gonna bring in my gold faceted gems. And I'm just gonna put some here. I just wanted to add a little sparkle up here. I thought it was kind of fun. Looks like coconuts. Or a hidden Mickey. <laughs> Whoop, there we go, like so. All right. Now, all we need to do is put our little dude right down here. Whoops. Like so. Oh, he's so cute. Right down towards the bottom. Like that. All right, now I wanna bring in just a little piece of old olive cardstock that I just took a scrap and I just tore it. And I'm gonna take my dimensionals and I'm gonna come over here to the side where the edge piece is, like so. See that? I'm just gonna tear some off. And I'm gonna put this way down here at the bottom, like so. Pull off the top. And then this will just go right down on the bottom edge, like so. All right, then we will flip it over and we will cut off the extra. Isn't that cute? Isn't he cute? I just love him. What is that? He picked up, oh, he picked up a little scrap. That's okay. All right, so we'll bring this in and I'm gonna pop this whole thing up. So I'm gonna go ahead and put four in the corners. Oh, I had a class one time and I went over to, oops, I got my finger stuck. I went over to the table and the lady had like covered the whole thing in dimensionals. Like you don't need that. 
Alrighty, so now I'm just going to pop this one down here, like so. There we go. This will be cute. And there you have our little girl dinosaur card. How fun! Alright, let's just do the inside greeting. We're going to do the inside like this one. So... Bring in my pretty peacock and my sentiment. I love you this much. It's more than it looks. <laughs> I love it. All right. Try to use my grid paper there. Let's go up here and do it towards the top. Like that. Then I will bring in my happy birthday. Now, the happy birthday wasn't in the set, so I just pulled it out from... Um, which one? Itty Bitty Greetings is what I pulled it from. Oh, I don't see it. Oh, well, I don't see it. I have to pull it back out. Um, alright, but oh, we are on live. I will go ahead and add the little teeny little prints. Oops, I need lovely lipstick for that. Right over here. All right, now, you know what I'm gonna do actually this time? I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put this in here and then I'm gonna do the steps across there to make sure that I get it exactly where I want it above the gift card. So let's do this. Put that down like that. Tuck it in up here at the top. Like so. Then I will add Little footprints. Make sure. There we go. Isn't that cute? Oh, so stinking cute. It's going to walk across the little page. There we go. Ta da! And now our little girl card is complete. I love it. Isn't that sweet? Look at that. Oh, so cute. All right, now, if you are looking for Dino Days in the catalog, I want to show you a couple of things that we have in here. I think it's on page 100. Oh, yes, it is. It's over here on page 100. The designer paper is up here, but it's also in the back. Here's the stamp set, but over here they've done some gorgeous samples with it, okay? So be sure to look at these because when I first looked at this in the catalog, I was noticing these little pieces over here. I'm like, where the heck did they get those? I don't have a, is this a two-part stamp set? It's not. These are cut out from that one piece of designer series paper. And then the other pieces I was talking about on the framelits, the little triangles and the circle, um, here you can tell up here they embossed with the um, leaves embossing folder and then they cut the circles out just to add a little interest in the background isn't that cool and then down here I love how they did this on the tag where they cut the triangles down here for dimension you can see um, behind where they stamped and down here where they split the sentiment, which a lot of times I forget to do, if I, that I have the option to do that, but you can split your sentiment up if it's too big. And then over here, look at this. This is what I was talking about. Look who's hatched. How adorable is that with that egg and the little pieces down here? Um, oh, look at this. Thank you this much with the wingspan. Love that. And then look at this. Really, really, really cute. Okay, so check it out and check out the um, other things that are in this suite. Remember, if you would like the um, stamp set and the dies together, you can save 10%. So this is the number down here for it. And then if you would like to get the, um, to recreate the projects, this is really interesting. And the one simple purchase, the suite bundle includes the stamp set, the dies, the, um, and then 10% off the paper, the ribbon, and the embellishments. So be sure to pay attention to these guys in the, in the suites 
with each suite that's in the catalog this this year because they're doing this all-inclusive thing so you'll get the whole thing and you can create them on your own okay so really really cute if you don't have your catalog make sure to let me know because I would love to send you one and don't forget this month's hostess host code is right here for June if you use that you get a free gift in the mail from me and you can shop at suitablystamped.stampinup.net and if you need a catalog or to reach me you can always check it out at shellsuit at verizon.net all right i will post these um here post the video with the uh, measurements and i will also post them on my youtube channel be sure to check that out if you haven't already and i would love to see you again tuesday night we will be back live and i hope to see you soon oh and don't forget burgers and cards is this wednesday night so stop by fosters around 6 30 and stamp with us we make four cards two of each but you need to RSVP if you're coming because we can make sure we have enough room. All right. All right, guys. Have a wonderful week ahead, and I will see you again soon. Bye.